The house faced the southern bluff. Looking this way. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, we have a photo image. And we also have the, uh, a couple date stones. I'm going to take a look, you know, get okay. a shot of that later, but yeah, 1765 date stone, likely from the original house, original portion of the house. And then an 1848 date, uh, date stone that reads GCM, which I'm sure uh, stands for George Cameron. The house, that's the, that's the facade, the front of the house. It's facing south, it's facing this direction. It actually looked right into the bluff. And there's a retaining wall, and you've heard me mention this before, and there are steps that pierce the retaining wall that go up to a little terrace area, and there used to be a carriageway drive that came down, like a half circle. And in the median of that, car that carriageway, that, um, I've read a couple letters of people who visited, uh, well, accounts of people who visited the, ha the home, and they mention how that space in between the carriage drive had these terraces that were f populated with plantings and trees. Yeah, they're actually standing just to the left or to the wall. south of that. Yeah, the retaining wall. Mm -hmm. It's a really neat structure. You really have to see it. You have to go down and look and walk to, to get a clear idea of what's going on there. I've been trying to do this sort of thing, but even someone who really doesn't have a skill knowledge in historic preservation and things like that, you can get a clear sense where build, the buildings used to be or where they would have been. Um, and it's a really intriguing place. And there are also traces of historic plantings, periwinkle and things like that, on that median I told you about. That's now, I read somewhere where there were balcony, they had a balcony on the rear of the house that actually, that nearly went over the river, like over the bank of the river. So the, the river was basically at, right at the rear of the house. First of all, it's an obvious source of water. Uh, not only that, I mean, I don't think it was a, a particularly large river. Um, I'm from Indiana, I would, uh, it's more of a creek to me, but. Yeah. <laughs> They ran, it's what brought the first Water James Mendenhall here. Yeah. Because he found a nice place to build. There's a, you know, there's a, a loop. Yeah. Which you could dam up, and that, that's where he built his first mill. Building. And that's what that's started the settlement here. What water power was important, just right. like Mary mentioned. It was. There wasn't mm -hmm. much water, but they knew how to use it. Right. They created these mill dams and backed it up so then they could use the force the of that water. They used it to run, you know, mm -hmm. Uh, what do you call them? Some water wells or yeah.